What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action. Spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as Oranos. His name's Kimo. His opponent today in the red color, playing as Zeus. His name is Mariano. We have the winner of the Challengers League versus the winner of the Champions League. This is where the Challengers get to show that they that they are more than, than they were told about. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh, Mariano here. Um, definitely. He, he was a very strong contender. Apparently, he recently got 1950 on the Vubli 1v1 rated ladder, which is no easy feat. In fact, many of the champions have not made it that high on the Vubli rated ladder. So, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see if Mariano can keep this level up. He's a very strong player, very smart player. Always, basically, always doing uh, some some sort of meta strategy. But Zeus versus Oranos on Oasis is is definitely one of the harder matchups for these uh, for for Zeus players to play. Um, I think uh, I think simply because it's low hunt, it means that uh, the the Atlantean player can can get a lot more value out of their uh, Terma wood based unit, which which get countered by food based units such as Hoplite Hippocon. Um, it's really difficult for for uh, for the Zeus players to keep up with that pressure. Now we haven't seen. Oh, here's the giraffe. So there are four giraffe here. The other thing that tends to happen. Here's the other four giraffe for Mar Mariana. The other thing that tends to happen in this matchup is that you get pushed off the hunt. The Zeus player can't manage to hold this hunt, um, especially if they go for centaur as well, which is the meta uh, would be centaur. So that initial um, the initial. Early game is definitely Zeus favor. The Jason, the Odysseus, the Centaur come out and it's really hard to defend against that. But as soon as that gets defended, that immediate pressure comes back. So I like this from Mariano. He needs to send every one of his Vood Villagers over to this giraffe pack here and eat all of this as fast as he possibly can before returning to the goat. Oh, he's amassed a quite an array of goat here. 13 here for him. Or oh, was that 14? 13 goat. Um, and... Kimo, unfortunately, has only got seven goats. So really nice scouting from him. He's also going after the giraffe. I, I, I like this. If he can send the giraffe down to the bottom, make it seem like they weren't there or something like that. Uh, Kimo is going to be a little bit unhappy about that one. But here's the oracles forward. Did we see a hunting dog's build order from Kimo? The answer is yes. And it's looking like he's going for a 430. So plenty of time for Mariano to get to the next stage. We also see him going for these berries here instead of sending those villages over to the giraffe. Um, while you do sort of have to change these villages over onto wood and, and gold, uh, I think I still would have preferred to see if he could get as much of this food as he possibly could here. Uh, but obviously not going for it. And a 430 Oracle pressure here is probably not the best way to go. You kind of need to have that Valor there for like a, a Mamillo and two Termo or two Mamillo and a Termo or something like that in the early game to deal with the Jason and the Odysseus getting that extra buff on the HP and the damage and the speed on those units in order to deal with that. We see one Giraffe has been picked off over here going for this other one as well. There's all these Hyena. I wonder exactly... How much food is going to be here? Uh, and I do not get to see, and that's fine. But the the food deteriorates like one food every every couple of seconds or something. Um, don't doesn't say. Anyways, nice play from Mariano, and and he knows about it. So the uh, the Hermes is coming through a little bit late, and Chemo's Chemo's very late on the advance time here. Going through Prometheus, 505 advanced time. Very, very rare to see that. That's gonna give Mariano a lot of um a lot of time here. We also see the Jason's already out, so there's not gonna be any response to this Jason coming in. And then as this is happening, look at this hunt already. It's lost almost 15 food. So if, if that doesn't get eaten straight away, we might we may see Kimo shorted like 600 food here or ish. Well, at least a little bit more. And we do see that Kimo are going to be retreating straight away now. But 
very, very late to the next age, and that's going to allow the giraffe to be completely soaked up. We see the oracles coming over onto this location. Uh, don't know if Kimo's spotted it or not. He's sent oracles through here, but I'm not sure if he knows about the hunt. Obviously, it looks like he does. He's sending the oracles over there. The Jason and the Catascopus coming in and hitting the villagers. Oh! One village again, a little bit confused as to which way he wants to go. And I think Mariano may be able to get this kill if he can micro the Catascopus enough, but he does not go for it correctly there. And the villager does get away. Now the Oracle's coming onto this location. We'd have 75 food left in the giraffe. This is probably not worth it to Valor here. And he does go for it. That's 42 food left on that. It doesn't matter all too much. We do see a, a shockwave here. Sometimes cease firing on this isn't a bad idea. We see the Odysseus coming in already. One villager does get picked off. Lots of idle time for the villagers because of that shockwave there. The Odysseus comes in, going to start slinging away at the Oracle and then retreat back. We do see the Centaur coming in, trying to pick off some villagers. I don't think he's picked off one just yet. We do see Chemo coming onto these uh, herdables here and getting an early husbandry. I really like that. He has to he has to defend against the Oracle uh, against the Odysseus and. Uh, the Jason pressure. We see the Promethean offspring coming in, almost sniping a villager here. Um, and he, oh, he actually will get it. Really nice play from Chemo. Trading his, well, he should be trading his Promethean offspring for it, but Mariano not microing that. That's three villagers down already uh, for uh, for Chemo. And we do see the uh, the bolt coming down into one of those Hero Mermillo as the Centaur runs through with a Centaur pole mark. Sylvan Law has been researched. And this is looking or shaping up to be a very interesting game here with Kimo taking a, a very late advance. So I'm getting a lot of villager kills anyway, but definitely going to be a difficult time for him to deal with all of these Santa that are coming his way after losing the Mermillo hero to a bolt. And I don't know where the other hero that he has is, but he's only got these... Uh, He's only got these Oracle heroes left. The Jason going to be chased around 4.30 speed or 4.3 speed versus 4.95 speed means this Jason will take a lot of damage here. We do see one hero Terma chilling on top of these uh, wood villagers here. Raiding with the Centaur against the Uranos at this stage. Probably not the best idea. Just come in and try and uh, snipe some of these Mermillo with your uh, with your Centaur. I think that's sort of the best way to play um, the best way to play this as Zeus is to sort of snipe the uh the the hero or the, the infantry units as best as you can with the Santa. You keep running in and out. Harassing the the um the villagers. Not really useful until you have about uh five centaur I think it is for a one hit on the uh on the on the citizens. So if you have five then you can start raiding citizens. But before then chances are you're probably not gonna get any kills and it's better off limiting that Mamillo uh that Mamillo number you see the Oracle heroes coming back in onto this location. They are on the wrong spot. There are lots of units here for Mariano chilling. And we do see the Centaurs coming through here. Not, still not going for any uh, pickoffs onto the army. We do see the heroes are splitting off. Oracles now have finally been reacted to. We do see one very low HP Oracle here. And all these Oracles should be falling. Uh, Jason does get a couple of love taps before falling to the Hippocons. And I'm not sure what that was. Maybe Kimo just didn't want them in his army anymore. They do slow down his army quite a bit. Very, very slow units. There's the Ankh of Ra here. Not getting picked up. It's a very strong relic for anyone. And the citizen coming in and trying to grab this talent center. It's maybe a little bit difficult. We just see the heroes a little bit out of position. The Santa are going to come in. And oh, there is a mana going up. So no problems there. Mariana opting not to attack this. I, I, I do think that that's very important. you got to... Got to be using those special abilities on cooldown if you possibly can. And if there's an army without any heroes in it, just go and attack that. Get some value out of these centaur. Do you see the hero Mamillo over here? Ready to repel the centaur of Mariano. He's almost hit that critical mass where he can start raiding villages and, and potentially snipe one. Um, and we do see villagers moving over onto this location. Ankh of Ra does come in for Chemo. That's going to be a town center for both players. Two town centers apiece here. But we will be seeing that Chemo is quite a bit in front on the population. And that's simply just because these uh, centaurs here uh, take a lot longer to deal with. Nice snipe on that Promethean, though that is still the Promethean offspring remaining. 
Um, does Mariano have enough resources? No, he doesn't. I thought he had enough resources for four. He does have enough resources. He's going three town centers here. This is incredibly risky. He's got a really nice safe home gold mine though. And his army composition really doesn't take that much gold. One stable, one um, one temple worth of centaurs. And he can kind of just spam them out. We do see the villagers. He may actually have to cast ceasefire here. I think he should cast ceasefire here. Otherwise he will lose all of these. There's another Valor, the final Valor for Chemo. The town centers will be going up. Uh, super unfortunate for Mariano having his center out of position here. If they, they were with this army, would have been able to get this town center up for free or without having to use that um, that ceasefire. But because he was out of position with the centaurs, that attack by Chemo did some nice, nice damage. And, and now there's no uh, ceasefire here, which means that when Chemo wants to go in for an attack, he can go. So you have to, Mariano has to be able to respect that. And he can't sort of just sit back and and boom and, and stuff like that. He, he has to he has to respect the army pressure that might come his way and then do something about it. And there's a second town center coming up for Kimo as well. He's actually got two villages on it. Um, generally speaking, we don't see this by Aranos, but it, it definitely makes that town center go up much faster. And the and the reason is that there is like putting six villages onto a town center versus two citizens. I think the town center goes up faster. I'm not sure exactly how the how the math works there, but look at these giraffe here, just not getting eaten at all, and they're going to start falling. There is this hero citizen here. We do see that Mariano is going to be ignoring that one for the time being. Uh, still a bunch of goats in his base, so he's can, he can uh, he can eat those for, for quite a while right now. Still going to be looking for that uh, low HP citizen, but not going to be finding it. Should snipe that Mermillo. Does not go for it. Oh, there he goes. And the Bermilo does die, trying to run into that manor, it looked like, but they could not get there in time. And here we go. Still sitting on this location here. chemo has got to realize that um, the gold income for Mariano has been very low. Uh, in a normal matchup, this gold will be expired by now, and the army would probably be about full. But in this matchup, where Mariano really doesn't have to build too much, he can uh, sit in his home base till like 15 minutes or so. Um, and be completely fine. He's gonna have such a huge economy. He's also got a gold mine over here, which is almost, almost a safe gold mine. Like it's not, but it's off to the side. One wall here would mean that it would be a, a very easy gold mine to secure for sure. We were just getting pushed off that wood line over here. Probably shouldn't be uh, chopping there, uh, but he, he is. He's just begging to be attacked. Now we see Chemo coming back in. Shockwave is available, but there is only one hero unit here. More units streaming in for Chemo. He's going to be looking for some damage somewhere. We'll see how it goes. Looks like he's uh, retreating back. Now we can start picking off more units. Nice centaur usage in the back. These four other centaur need to come in. We do see Chemo still pushing in. Mariano having to retreat yet again. If we check out the population, is 145 to 106. Chemo so far in front on the population, but does it even matter? And now here's the thing. If these Mermillo numbers were shut down a little bit here, these would all be Terma. And this army, this this fight would go very differently. Nice micro from Chemo. Nice micro from Mariano as well, running those Centaur away. You've got to be very, very fast with them. And it is looking like Mariano's army is going to get completely destroyed here. The hero Mermillo, way too much for Mariano. He has to get out of here. Lost so many Centaur there. Another shockwave here to pick off even more of these Centaur. Absolutely huge. And this is turning the tides completely here into Chemo favor not that he was behind but just now he is so so astronomically far in front because he's full population he's got he's picked off all of the santars and the santars cost so many resources 200 wood 12 favor uh and if they don't get their value out of them then it's so important it's so huge for the uh, Aranos player and now we're just going to see basically chemo has got two options here you can go hyperion here go for an all-in palace push with destroyers transition into destroyer arcus or something like that or you can go thea here stymphalian birds more than enough to counter the myth units of um of zeus and then just go for a super fast mythic age tartarian gate and then push onto this town center or this town center it doesn't matter which one just tartarian gate the other one 
and uh, an attack. So we'll see what he's going to be doing. If we check the uh, age, we do see Hyperion is the god of choice. We see a forward military barracks here just out of line of sight of that granary. Really nice play from uh, from Kimo to do that. And he's looking like he wants to all in this town center here. Still no medium infantry shaft mine coming through for Kimo. He loves those economic upgrades. Loves not getting his army upgrades. Uh, instead, uh, favoring the economic upgrades. Very reminiscent of Magyar's play back in the day. Um, Promethean Offspring does get sniped there by the uh, Santars. And if we check out Mariana's population, now he's starting to catch up, but he's very, very far behind. And down Ceasefire, this Hyperion attack may be too much for him. Uh, and there, it's very, very close. I'd love to see him send a couple more villagers forward even just to get the palace up as soon as he possibly can. We do see him still trying to snipe some units over here. So we'll see how it goes. Nice snipe on that centaur there. Does pick off one Mamillo to trade for it though. And now the villagers coming over are going to be spotting this. We see the market going down instantly for Chemo. So potentially not a heroic age all in. And he's maybe just going to do exactly what I talked about with Thea, except through Hyperion. Um, we see him making any sates here. We do not see the sates here coming out. What are the upgrades coming through? We've got Bosaur for Chemo. How's the uh, economy going? He's almost got enough to advance here. Look at that 3,000 resources in the bank. Absolute crazy economy here for Chemo. And he's going to be going through Hecate here. There's the armory coming up now for Chemo. He's going to be a full minute behind here. And now we do see him all in. Well, trying to target this town center down. We've got the medium hoplites out for Mariano. And Chemo is just more than happy to sit underneath this location here. Taking the damage. Get the palace up. And then he can uh, continue. Still no... Um, Chaos here, a little bit surprised to see that. He probably could have used that before the fight started, but just not happening. And there's the Chaos as Kimo going to be retreating. Now the palace almost up. These hoplites not going to be enough to take it down at all. And the... Uh well, the Sentinel's doing a lot of work in the back, but the Hero Mamillo finally coming in to start slicing on them. Palace is up. Uh, I wonder if he just doesn't build anything from this palace, waits on Fire Siphon. No, going straight for the Destroyer. It's fair enough. It's another palace coming down as well. Really smart play by Chemo here. And Mariano holding on for dear life here. He's got quite a few resources, but he's, is he advancing? No, he's not. We've got Quarry, we've got Heke, we've got Jamino coming through. What is... Uh, Jamino is the um, super strong Satyr upgrade. Makes them throw three extra spears on the, um, on the special. And now we see Mariano getting pushed back. And Kimo, he's got his unit already over here ready to cast that uh, Tartarian Gale on this location. This is going to be incredibly difficult for, Mar for, for Mariano to defend against. Destroyer is now onto this town center. We do see the Hero Mamillo taking down the Centaur Polmarks here. And Mariano, when he sees the Hecate, decides to tap out. GG, well played by Kimo. I, I honestly think this game and this matchup comes down to getting value out of your center. And you can't get value out of your center by raiding villages against a really good player. So the next best thing is you go after the army, you try and snipe Mamillo, keep those Mamillo numbers down. So when you do fight, it's like Hippocon against Terma, which is a really easy fight to win. Um, and then you're going to be totally fine. But Mariano just lost way too many Santa there. Could not keep up with the tech because of it. And Kimo took this win. We'll see if they want to keep playing more. They do. Fantastic. If you're enjoying the games, please consider hitting the follow on the Twitch or the subscribe on the YouTubes. And I will see you guys in the next game.